Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. Things are set up a bit differently than usual, so I'm just having to familiarize myself with a new setup. It helps if I don't play the video double. Or play the audio double. Okay, everyone. Hello, hello. So, time has passed since the pa last stream. We're level 96 now. I decided to pay for an XP service because it worked out that way. But we are 62% of the way to 97 now. I was originally going to see how far I could go on my own, and then, well, convenience allowed me to just pick up a service. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just, I'll just pay for it. No shame using an XP service to get things done a bit faster. So how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's well. Uh, I hope everything is coming out properly with the stream, too. It's hard to say right now. I'm good. Excited to be streaming, as always. Okay, I am getting chat properly. That's good. I'm using a completely different interface now. I'm running everything through OBS. So, I'm reading chat through OBS and converting and stream through OBS and all of that stuff. I'm not using the Switch website anymore. Also, I've done some theoretically vast optimizations to the stream. I haven't actually tested them, which in retrospect would have been a better thing to do before the stream. So, I have changed out the uh, how things are a bit set up with uh, specifically how it encodes the video. Basically... I changed a few settings, and theoretically, it'll be a bit less laggy. Just whenever there's a lot of things going on on screen. For those who are familiar with OBS, uh, I swapped from window capture to game capture. Which, I, I still have a lot to learn, apparently, about streaming. <laughs> Apparently, game capture is a lot more efficient than the window capture. So. Yeah, I'm already seeing, like, there there is some choppiness, but in general, I'm seeing a lot more smoothness with how the stream is processing things when there's a lot of stuff going on, like, right now. I was getting uh, uh, encoder overloading before, which is basically just... Too much shit happening, can't stream at the settings I have set it to, but it's happening way less now. 
Like right here is is when it would have started happening. With all these effects on screen, but it's doing good. So I think video is going to be a bit better now. Oh here. This is the level of shit happening that would upset it usually. Nope. Still okay. That is the hope that it's smooth. I'm I'm trying to play while watching chat while also keeping an eye on my on OBS specifically, looking to see if uh, it's overloading at all. So I'm not actually looking at the map a lot of the t or like at the game a lot of the time while I'm playing right now. <laughs> So it might look a bit hectic and weird how I'm playing, but it's just because I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> uh, what did I do? Oh, okay, I was fighting a beast. Okay, I'm happy that things are smoother. I believe there are some ways I can mess around with how the stream is working. Uh, even more than this. Or specifically with how the video is being encoded. So how it's being recorded basically. That's just... Just one more thing to work on. <laughs> I wanted to test these changes first though. Before I went any further. Mainly stress testing with a real stream. Because, I mean, I can stress, like, I can test on my own by just recording stuff, but it's not the same as when I'm streaming, since there's a lot more tax on the computer specifically. Ooh, I got close to death there. Yeah, this game's never hectic. It's it's so hectic sometimes. I've definitely heard how can you tell what's going on on screen a lot of times. <laughs> Practice. That is basically it. Oh, stone circles. I hate stone circles. No. I'm not good at Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't like it when I lag out. That's not cool. I'm very lucky I did not lag out to death while in the ultimatum. It's like, these monsters are especially dangerous. No. I see the I see the choking miasma fart cloud inching towards me. Yep, get away from me. I'm gonna take constant chaos damage while it's on me. Really rather not. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take more choking miasma. That's 5C worth of rogues markers. I certainly won't say no to that. It's good if I don't walk into explodey mine things. It's not good for my health to eat those. They're junk food. <laughs> The blistering cold is really dangerous with the stone circles. The blistering cold and the uh, miasma are both bad with this. I probably should have picked something different to deal with, but... 
here we are, I guess. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, I really would prefer the miasma to get off of that, off of the remaining circle, please. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I'm done. No! No! You're not blowing me up. I got 36% more experience to go. Then you can blow me up as many times as you want. I'm not losing XP. I refuse. I always check the breach rings hoping that there will be a decent one. There never is. They always suck. <laughs> Not that they're really useful ever, but... I don't know, I use the breach ring sometimes if I can find something that's similar to what I usually use, uh, and I am fighting a breach lord specifically. There we go. Uh, pick more beasts. Why not? It's a bit strange having Searing Exarch and Shaper influence in the same area, but... Yeah, I would love to see more influence stuff. Ooh, Coder is suffering. He was like, "No, why are you doing this to me?" Oh, it caught up while I'm still fighting things. Nice. Okay. Yeah, man, these, these settings are much, much nicer. <laughs> I did not... I did not fully appreciate that immediately. These are really nice settings now. It's going to make it a lot easier to do things now. In this game. I might actually be able to do Delirium again more. I've been kind of avoiding doing Delirium. How do I end up with five shrine effects and not six? I pick up two at a time. No, oh, I'll pick up another one. Oh, one of them must be in a duplicate. Ooh, lots of strong boxes. So I've been making bad decisions today. I'm making a new character because why not? I want to play around with the specters a bit this league while we still have the specters this league. I don't I don't know what's going to happen after this league with the Specters you can, the corpses you can purchase basically. So I want to play around with them a bit before that ends up going away inevitably or getting nerfed or whatever. But since we have 
the uh, warlock from the Breaker of Oath, uh, Breaker of Oath with uh, the Penance brand, where when you hit something, it summons uh, weak enemies for you to fight. Uh, I want to go for a build that I have tried to make work multiple times now and have never done just because it's been finicky and annoying. And that is the Ark Holly's Fang Raised Spiders build. Uh, it requires that you uh, kill things and there to be a corpse around for you to raise a spider each time and to maintain the spiders, and you can't guarantee that you can kill things in, let's say, a boss fight, which makes it really challenging. So people usually have to rely on writhing jars, which uh, is a flask that just dumps out two uh, enemy worms when you use it, and you can kill those for to trigger on kill effects. But the Penance brand doesn't have charges, you can use it as much as you have mana. I keep saying brand. Penance mark? Oh, okay, I, I can't actually see it because I'm a warden. Let me, let me just double check. I thought it was called penance. Penance Mark. Okay, I'm confusing Penance Brand and Penance Mark. Yeah. Curse. Mark a single enemy, causing them to spawn multiple phantasms when hit. Phantasms will be allied with a marked enemy at the same monster level. They're immune to curses and deal physical damage. So, it's just a way of creating things to actually kill when you hit the monster. Whenever you hit the monster. So, theoretically, it should give us way more than enough stuff to kill to summon a ton of spiders. Uh, I know that a lot of people do not like spiders. I am one of those people. Uh, thankfully, I do find that the spiders for the Ray Spider build, since they're spectral spiders... And they're like mostly translucent and also small and like they, it's hard to tell they're spiders and I find that it's less upsetting because of that. So if you're at all worried about that, we, we you should be fine. But uh, where should I put? I put my towers. Uh, yeah, I'll pick here. It's running in circles because I'm like trying to think of what the what the best spot is to put things. Okay. There. Oh, everything is in the same pile. Okay. Now I kind of wish I put a buff tower there. Oh, oh no, that's perfect. It's perfect. I can work with that. Okay. So I have arc towers for the things that can't. Ah! Didn't notice this. I have arc towers for things that can't be killed with minions. I have minion towers for things that can't be killed with arc towers. <laughs> I'm trying to find the happy medium. Okay, so good. The, these are right in range of the scout tower. So this won't be a problem. But yeah, this this blight's done. There we go. But yeah, I've been thinking... Ooh, a silver oil. I've been thinking a lot about doing a spider build. I've been working on designing one today. It's... 
Honestly, I'm very surprised with how it's turning out, because I expected it to be hard to scale. But then I found something out that this league, for the first time ever, the Squire, the shield that supports, um, the shield that you can socket gems into to support your main hand weapon and whatever gems are in there, is 2 div, down from like 25 div. So it's actually reasonable to use one of those. So with the raised spiders on the dagger itself, three support gems in the race in the uh, dagger for raised spiders. So that's a four link, and then plus three from the squire is a seven link, which works very well. I'm a bit unsure on some aspects of it. It is sitting. Without, like, a bun bunch of extra shit in it, the build is actually setting a bit over 11 million DPS right now. Which is pretty crazy. Uh, that relies, however, on... I'll pick up Blood Altar. That, however, relies on having 20 spiders running at a time. Uh... You need to, uh, when you trigger the uh, Ray Spider skill, which is triggered when you kill something, it, ah, uh, it consumes one corpse to raise two spiders with a maximum of 20 spiders available. You know what? I don't like this area. This is scary. But that's the main concern right now, is trying to figure out how many spiders actually can be sustained in a way that is reasonable. I'm not actually sure whether I can sustain 20 spiders regularly. If I can, that's great. And I hope I can. But I'm not 100% sure. I've also been working on something a bit weird to go with the build. That I, I assume that I am not the first person to think of this. But to me, it's a very new concept. I am going to be using the Link Scale Intuitive Link, which lets you link to another player or creature, and if it dies, you die, which is a downside of the Link Scales, but as long as it's attacking, it will be triggering your whatever skill you have attached to the Intuitive Link. And in this case... I have two skills that are attached to it. One of them being Desecrate, which spawns five corpses, and the other one being Flesh Offering, which eats... Uh, I don't actually know how many corpses it can eat. I It'll eat all five of them at once, though. And it'll alternate between triggering one spell and the other one. And... The great thing is, since this character is a necromancer, or will be a necromancer, uh, when, it, when you consume a corpse, for each corpse you consume, you recover, I believe it's 8% of your energy shield and 4% of your mana, or something like that, for a corpse, over the next two seconds-ish. So, the idea is basically, once or twice a second... Uh, to be consuming five corpses. So you'll have somewhere between five and ten corpses being consumed a second, which means that... What was it? Um, no, it's it's only 4% of your energy shield per corpse, because it's for five a second, that's 
twenty percent of your energy shield over two seconds. I remember that that's the statistic. But basically it gives like some really crazy regen by doing that. Really crazy energy shield regen, and I'm trying to scale the re the energy shield a bit better, but it's been a bit of a mess trying to make that one work. Mostly because I found a way to make to give myself a lot of damage, and now I'm like trying to scale back the le less important parts of the build so that I can fit in enough defenses because I did not fit enough defenses in initially. But it's it's gonna scale based on how oh that's a triple empowered gold. Ooh, that's why I dropped so much. Huh. No, I don't want that. That is a lot of currency. I'll show off the actual path of building soon for it. The uh, character is only level 34 right now, so she has some she has some work to do. I'm trying not to play her right now just because everyone has seen basic leveling. It's not very interesting. So I'm seeing that I'm seeing as it's a, a second character, I'm going to try to level it off camera for the most part, at least till I'm done the campaign. I mean, I'm fine leveling in maps, but I want to try to keep the campaign stuff at least out of that. It's not like the start of the league where you have no other characters to play. I, I have a very functional character to play. Also, I mean, I can make more money, which is always good. Ooh, Gelsid Orb, nice. Uh, well, this is dangerous, but I'll double the divination. I'll get a double a chance to double the divination cards in exchange for a bad aura. Anything that gets in this purple aura is buffed and will want to hit me. Which is bad. <laughs> okay. I'm already up to 70% XP, which is good. If we can hit 97 on stream, that would be amazing. I'm not going to... No... I'm not going to bank on it cuz that's pretty a pretty rough goal potentially, but if I die probably even once that becomes a more ridiculous goal. Cuz each map is looking about 2.5% of a level. So, it takes 4 maps for me to recover from a single death. I'm gonna have to run back to town. Or to hide out. Yeah, I'm too full. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you probably don't need the sound effects of me putting things in in my stash, but I'm here to help. <laughs> Sometimes that help isn't wanted. But I'm here to help nonetheless. <laughs> Ooh, 
Whoa, okay. I just walked into a whole pile of enemies. That's a bit rough. Wow, I, I am just floored how well the game is running. I'm really, really happy I made the changes I did to my recording setup, because holy shit. It's running so much better now. Oh. Katash? Katash, I remembered your name. Uh, this is a bit nerve-wracking. No, I don't want... It's a melee creature. And I have a melee kill me aura, like that one. Uh, <laughs> it can cause attacks like that one to kill me. Uh, ouch. That specifically is why I don't want to promise to hit 97. Because <laughs> I'm at negative 2% XP for this stream now. Okay, so there is a very dangerous boss over to the west. I am going to ignore that for a moment. Let's clear everything else so I don't have to worry. Also money. I like money. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Tier 16s with Wildwood are still a bit rough for me. Okay, I did not mean to eat that entire blast from the Shaper, but that happened. Nope. I'm going to watch the two bosses and the Shaper at the same time. That's one boss down. No, I'm not even looking at my character, so I'm not seeing the Shaper attacking me. Ooh, a Cortex! Fuck! I'm not going to say no to that. That's nice. How much a Cortex right now? 1.5 div. Expansive. That's that's what they are right now. <laughs> Give me XP. I actually might go run the Cortex right now. Because it would be good for XP. Well, I'm going to go back and try to kill the Hate Shepherd if I can. I'm a bit nervous about him, so I'm probably going to be very guerrilla warfare, but I have to... got to protect his XP somehow. No. Oh, uh... I guess he's a bit more south from here. You know what? I'm not going to risk any of this stuff. Not while it's still around. Ah! Giant monster! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, no, no. I don't know what that was. I did not like it, though. Okay, we're going to play Ring Around the Rock. Nope. 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 Go away. Thank you, Huck, for tanking him. Okay, he's about half health now. Apparently, I'm not... Able to easily take him right now. Okay, I can wither him? I can wither him, but he can see me. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna hide over here. I can see him on the mini map. Ah! No, leave me alone. Oh no, oh no, don't lag now, don't lag now, don't lag now. Oh. Well, it's pretty decent. It's very frustrating how how laggy this game can be sometimes. Okay, you can't, like, attack me through this or something, right? I'm safe. No! 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 Not safe from that! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna be a bit careful about that whole thing. No. Go away. No! As soon as I start using Wither, he's like, I see you! <laughs> okay, I think I'm actually withering him. Yep. Yep, he knows I'm here. No! He's got, like, an erected style to him that's very disturbing. Ugh! Defeat a bond bo Ugh. Defeat a beyond boss at tier 16 with at least 80% item quant. Oh, I have 100% quant! That's what's going on! Ooh! Tainted fusing! Nice! That's money. And let's do these. For a little bit of extra stuff to kill. Won't really matter, because the map's basically over. Man, you're tanky. Oh. <laughs> That blipped on screen long enough for me to see crit resistant and extra life. Yeah, those are those are like the worst type. Okay, sixty three percent. Uh I think blistering cold's gonna be safer than raging dead. Okay. Shaper, you are rude. I just need to survive, so I don't have to be too too worried about killing things. I just need to hide behind my nice little rock here. And no one, no one come look for me! Leave me alone. Ooh, crit multi, area damage. Uh, it's crit multi with cold, and then damage penetrate to lightning. Darn. I'm, am I stuck in the rock? I don't want to be stuck in the rock. Uh. Uh. Too many things bothering me. Need to get out of there for a second. Nope. No. No. I'm happy you can go outside the ring, because otherwise this would be much harder. You know what? I'm good. I think I'm going to call it there before I get myself killed. Oh. Uh, and Tainted Fusings, how much are these again? 40. Unfortunately, 
There, there is a way for me to show my price checker, which I'm using. Uh, or at least I, I'd hoped there would be, where you can show third-party overlays over a game, but it doesn't recognize it. I assume because it's just like a fan-made thing. It doesn't recognize the price tracker specifically, which is sad. Okay. I don't know if it's going to use the sacrifices. It did, okay. Cool. Cortex, first one in the league. Okay, what are we looking like monster speed, additional projectiles can cause elemental ailments, penetrates twelve percent resistances. Danger. <laughs> it is danger. There there's nothing here that I can't do, but it's all pretty it, there's a bit it's a bit rough. Put it that way. I'm at 63% right now. Let's see what I can get out of this, because if I can do this without dying, I will be in a fairly nice state, XP-wise. Man, I thought my totems were tanky before. They are not tanky, apparently. Or at least not against, like, semi-juiced tier 16 stuff. Whoa! I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have done that. As soon as I got close to it, I'm like, this, I need to leave right now. You know? <sighs> you know. Hold on. Stealing some max health for myself for a second. I'm gonna give my totems. I'm gonna take away, away a bit of my damage, and I'm gonna give my totems more health. See if that'll help them survive this place. Cause like they, I, I can't, I can't do this if my totems are dead. I can't, I can't do anything. And everything is bonus projectiles, which is super dangerous. I I never do the bonus projectile maps because of how dangerous they are. But I also don't want to walk away from a cortex. Too much, too expensive to walk away from. Though my XP is worth a lot of money too, so there's that. If you count it like in how much of an XP service it would cost you to recover it. Oh, I need that. I guess I just have to keep resummoning them. No. Okay, this this place is a bit of a mess. Okay, I need to get it close enough that it'll actually kill things, but I can't be so close that it, I will get killed. <laughs> There's a happy medium to find. No, I don't like that. Leave me alone. Oh boy, an exalted shard. It's one seventh of a chaos. No, sorry. It's point seven of a chaos. That's what I meant to say. 
Oh no. That's that. That's that area. The one that killed me earlier. I'm just gonna keep spawning more totems. Eventually, they will kill enough stuff that it will be done. Because they only need a few strikes to kill things. Theoretically. No, they don't. They need a lot of strikes because my skitterbots are on top of me. So, none of this stuff is getting cursed, except for when it gets close to me. Which I'm not letting it, which is dangerous. So, it's currently killing things one at a time instead of in groups. Because of how dangerous this is. Okay, so that's a problem. I did not expect to encounter a Cortex as dangerous. Monsters cannot be stunned! Oh no. That means I can't freeze anything. Nope. Man, just, just dipping in to drop totems is enough to theoretically kill me. No! Oh my god. I am losing more from this map than I'm gaining. That's for sure. <sighs> I'm... negative 18% XP now. I should stop counting that, because otherwise I'm just going to be sad. Not really sure how to deal with this problem specifically. Maybe I should try approaching it from a different angle. I could try rushing things, but that sounds really bad. And dumb. Nope. Yep, that was bad and dumb, I can confirm. Okay, so here is the point where we decide is my last remaining 35% XP worth... What the hell was that? You know what? The Cortex is not worth it. I'm not going to get anything out of it that'll be worth it. It just is not worth it. That is very unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm going to give up on that one. Back to, like, half-decent maps. The idea is to level right now, not to... Push my limits. <laughs> I need something... I need simple things. This is exactly why I didn't want to promise being able to get anything by the end of the stream in particular, because... It's very rough sometimes. This is why I just pay for XP services so I don't have to suffer through all of this. I find this stressful. Oh well, if I lose XP, I lose XP. It's not that big a deal. Nothing I can't buy my way out of anyways. Besides, I'm making a lot of... I'm going to be making a lot of money via doing the Exarch influence stuff, so... Yeah, there's a Grand Ember right there. All I need to do is make money or get XP. One of those two things. I am making money. That is what I am doing. Ah, additional Chaos Orb, you say? That sounds great. Whee! 
It's like being a raider again. Whee! Who is bothering me here? Hillock? Leo. And Haku and Tora. Okay. Well, I got run fast energy, so I'm going to run fast instead. Deal with you in a second. Man, this stuff is so much less dangerous than what I was just dealing with in that stupid Cortex map. I was Those are just the wrong, wrong list of affixes. Ooh. Also, with this lag, not, not doing pretty good, I gotta say, on the whole surviving thing. So I'm happy that I'm not pushing things too much right now, because... I think I'm just going to be putting myself in undue danger. At undue risk. Okay, now I can go back, do the syndicate, buttheads. Oh, safe house. I can do a safe house. That is good for XP. I'm at 36%. Okay. Well, I'll slowly recover. Again, most importantly, I need to either get XP or make money. I don't have to do both. She says while continuing to try to do both at the same time. So, you know what's stressful? It's not getting XP. Like, getting XP is not stressful to me. Protecting the XP I have is stressful to me. It's like one of my least favorite aspects of Path. It's like, I just want to make a cool build. And keep refining it and refining it. I don't I don't want to constantly be dealing with dying and losing my all my all my shit. But those are just my preferences. Ooh, poor chaos, nice. There's a reason why, like, one of the last few remaining achievements I don't have in this game is <laughs> reach level 60 with a hardcore character. <laughs> I just don't fucking play hardcore for the exact same reason why I don't like protecting my XP. Oh. Right, I forgot that Racecourse can just have a random extra area in it for the Syndicate specifically. Okay, so, like, is the game just messing with me now? <laughs> I... <laughs> like... I have so many mixed feelings about this. <laughs> I'm happy to get another Cortex, like, immediately. They're expensive. 
I'm just... I'm just a bit gun-shy now, after that other one just mercilessly murdering me. Okay, let's do the safe house. I know that's... house. No, I know that's safe. <laughs> okay, so this is a tier 16. I don't have... Okay, so I'm going to have to use my flame dash to open these. I usually try to bring a... Uh skill of some sort in so that I can break the pots. Okay, all that area. I don't know who just, like, leaves jars of worms everywhere. Like, these people are really weird. And crates of rats. Why? What were you planning to do that required 700 crates of rats? Like, I feel like someone's going to have a very bad day. I, n I never actually questioned the hundreds of crates of rats and worms that they just keep with them for some reason. What are they doing with them? It feels... Like, they're up to something problematic. It's got... I have 700 rats and I'm disgruntled vibes all written all over it. No. No. My poor stream, what's going on tonight? The internet is just so unhappy right now. Okay, I have nothing downloading in the background. Yeah, I don't really have anything running right now, so this is purely just path and music and, well, the stream itself. I guess just tonight is not a good internet night. That's unfortunate. Blow everything up. Blow up the pile of jars and rats and stuff. Just crates of angry rats. Where do you get 700 angry rats? How bored do you have to be? Jars. Okay, now for a quick detour home.
Well, at thirty-eight percent, I feel like that doesn't. I feel like I'm not getting much XP from this, surprisingly. And I, I don't exactly have any quant on on the area or anything, because you, you can't do that. Hmm. Hmm. I know you do get like a notable amount of experience from just executing the executive at the end, so we'll see after that, but I feel like I only got like 1 or 2% XP from this. Okay, I mo moved that portal 10 feet. That was not... There was not a good reason for that. That got very busy very quickly. Okay. 39%. 40%, okay. I got 1% off of... Just executing him. I think I got four percent from the safe house, which is okay. Swap div cards. Fail chaos. Nothing. Not chest. Nothing. Not chest. And this chest is has stuff in it. Okay. Okay, uh, no, no, I still need to actually pick up something to put in here. <laughs> div cards. Crappy div cards. I'll get rid of Dark Temptation. And Prince of Darkness. That's I think actually viable. Yeah, that's like a twenty C card. Nice. Twenty C card up from a one elk card. Cool. Go in the pile of random crap. Hmm. Okay, well. Just gonna keep going, I guess, then. Oh, I said I was actually going to show off the spider belt a little bit. I don't have any gameplay of it because the build is not set up, but I do have a path of building I can show off. Hey, stream, I need to catch up. Thank you. Ah, Interesting. Okay. Just looking at uh, my new OBS setup, it's a bit different than I'm used to still, so feels a bit weird, but I know I've, I've managed to save some resources by using OBS to route a lot of the stuff I'm, like, my Twitch interactions through. So, like, I can read, com I can read comments and stuff, or not comments, I can read chat and stuff just via OBS instead of opening a browser, which saves me at least a couple hundred megs of RAM. It's not a huge amount, but, I mean, we all know that Chrome is incredibly resource-hungry, so... 
Any amount of not chrome I can manage is good. Let's see. Chrome is currently using 350 megs of RAM, and it is playing music while minimized. <laughs> that's less than I thought, but that's that's really bad for having only one tab open. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Orbs of Unmaking. Uh, okay, I'll go with that. Give me some glass blowers. Give me some Orbs of Unmaking. I can sell them. Nope. Okay. I also have it on good authority that I will be having a real mic soon. Like an actual streamer mic. I'm very, very excited for that. <laughs> that, well, we'll probably start to see that. Not... Hmm. I'm hoping next Thursday stream we'll be able to see it by. Otherwise, it'll be the, uh, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after stream. Assuming that things ship okay. Yes, I'm very excited for it. I cannot wait to hear the sound quality difference. Because I know I have a good headset mic, but I still, it's a headset mic. There's nothing that will change that fact. Oh, I just realized I have a diamond shrine. You always deal critical strikes. Huh. Yeah, that would be really nice if I didn't already always deal critical strikes. <laughs> it's kind of redundant. But yes, new mic coming. Very, very excited for that. That's going to be so much fun to play with. I must share my excitement with everyone. I'm not even going to bother with that altar, because it is bad. Don't pick something from every altar you encounter. It is just Sometimes they are just not worth picking anything from. You're just making your life harder. Oh, I look forward to my mic not being on my headset specifically because as soon as I adjust my headset in any way, it usually can be heard on the capture. Not my favorite. What was that? I don't know. Okay. Do I want to do with minus 6,000 armor? Not really. That boss can have armor, though. That does not affect me. It's like, ah, in exchange for this, for this reward, we will challenge you by making... The map boss more sturdy. Ideal chaos damage, bitch. It will not help you. It's funny. Games like this are just this big... I realize they're just this big war between the developer and the end user. One is trying to make the game balanced and fair, and the other is trying to make it as unbalanced in their favor as they can. <laughs> I mean, which is why I use things like the um, sulfate intoxication perks and stuff.
It's not meant... It's not meant to be used the way that I use it, where I constantly pick up sulfite veins purely for the sake of having sulfite intoxication, but... I mean, as long as it's in the game, I'm going to use and abuse it, because it is a legitimate feature. I haven't been using sulfur intoxication. I'm mainly using Einhorn June. These maps aren't actually that challenging, so I don't really see a reason to use self use uh, Nico for salt intoxication. Uh, Gilded Bestiary Scarabs. Okay. New map. New June. New June, who dis? June, baby, give me another safe house. Please? I need to remember to go back for the Wildwood, but unfortunately, it's really hard to, to backtrack in a map like Racecourse because it is very long to backtrack. It is a very long way to backtrack. That was not proper grammar. <laughs> Hello, Leo. I've been waiting for you. Okay, research intelligence. Whoa. Let's not have too many things going on. So going back to the build from earlier, the uh, spider bill I was talking about. So I, I've i been having fun trying to find ways to shift the damage I take to become chaos damage. Because I picked chaos inoculation, so I'm immune to chaos damage. So the more stuff I can take as chaos damage, the less damage I just take straight up. And I've managed to set it up to take... 15, or no, 16% of physical damage is chaos, and 25% of all elemental damage is chaos. So I just remove that from the damage I take. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll swap you. Expedition Scarabs, those are probably valuable. But it's really fun trying to find new ways to move more damage to being taken as Chaos, which I'm immune to. Because I don't play Chaos Inoculation characters very often. Not really by design, just by... I don't know. I guess health is simpler to play by, usually, and it's, you want to have some method of recovering your energy shield that's more than just energy shield recharge. Unless you have 
a supremely large amount of energy shield to pull from. Like, generally, I want to have some sort of notable regen for it. So, like, I would consider good energy shield regen to be, like, a thousand a second. I'm not talking, and, like, n I'm not talking about recharge. I'm talking about regeneration specifically. I'm going to be looking at 20% of my energy shield regenerating a second plus regen. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. <laughs> I really look forward to using my uh, Desecrate Flesh Offering loop. So I want to see how that corpse loop get works. I was originally going to use a brand specifically for it, which seemed kind of fun, having just an Arcanist brand that alternates between Flesh Offering and uh, Desecrate, but it seems to be better to just do Intuitive Link, seeing as I have a Golem to link to. It's a little bit faster. And I mean, the more the more times you can trigger, the the faster you can trigger the skills, the more energy shield you can regenerate per second. So, I'm trying to like maximize the amount of regeneration, because ideally I'd love to make like a really like ridiculously tanky build if I can manage it. Especially seeing as it already does a like a stupid amount of damage. I mean, if I can make it, like, obscenely tanky and still be over 10 million DPS, I I will not be complaining. I believe it's about 4,700 energy show right now, so... Mediocre at best, but gonna keep working on that. It's, I mean, I started building it today, so it, it takes longer than that to to make a good build in my experiences. Usually, it takes, I don't know. It, it it's been changing a lot, so it's hard to tell like how long it takes for me to make like an actually good build. But I feel like, it, on average, it takes like 8 to 12 hours to make a build competent. And then past that, it just depends on how long it takes me to figure out what other random shit I can put into the build that would be awesome. Let's wither some stuff. Okay, so that's not a lot of health. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I really would like to get up to like 6,000 energy shields on that build. We'll, we'll see. What the hell day is it today? It's Thursday. Okay, so... Still, hmm. so you probably, you'll see the new builds on the Tuesday stream then. Okay, I'm going to put a scout tower right here. I was really hoping that I could hit the stuff over here with the scout tower, but... um. Okay, right, let's activate the scout tower so it can deal with some stuff, and I will go back here and deal with all this crap. Okay, I can have one scout tower over here to start with, at least.
Probably should have waited a little bit longer before placing towers down. That was the error there, but I mean, it worked out, so it doesn't really matter. No more silver and gold oils. Wow, there's a surprising amount of league mechanics I left behind that I just did not pay attention to. I wonder if this stuff is stunt. Is this stuff freeze resistant? No, it's not freeze resistant because it's still shattering. For a second, I thought that stuff was freeze resistant and I was very concerned. Sapphire. Okay. Wildwood. Anything interesting happening? 44%. No! <laughs> Shit! I really wish I'd had this earlier! 300% increased XP gain. Monsters drop no items. That would be really good, considering. But the map is done, so this effect won't matter too much. But I will get extra XP while in here, at least. So, I'll work on that. See how that goes. I'm at 44% XP, so... We'll see. Whoa. Which one of you little bastards is lagging me out? Do not appreciate lag toads or whatever that is that's lagging me out. Warden. You know, you gave me a quest a while ago to find and kill the King of the Mist. I found and killed him multiple times, uh, but not the right one, apparently. Could you, like, just point me to where he is? Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to find a random King of the Mist. It's very hard to find the King of the Mist stronghold. Because he just likes... He literally likes to go out into the forest at random and dance. That is... That is exactly what he does. <laughs> and if you interrupt him in his dance party, all you do is get a small reward. Because, I guess, dance party time is not reward time. It is unfortunate timing. I should throw some scarabs onto this, like actually use up some of the scarabs I have. Give me an iron har. Uh, give me some strong boxes. Give me some tormented spirits. June fortune favors. Oh. Oh right, I have iron har, so I can't select June. Okay. Um, uh, what would work well with this map? You know, I'll pick ambush. Then I'm gonna have a minimum of ten strong boxes. <laughs> That'll be fun. Let's see how tanky this stuff is. About forty-five percent XP. Actually recovering XP fairly well, surprisingly. Let's 
slightly surprised. Wait. Eldritch Maidens gain 100,000 armor? That feels excessive. I mean, I can do it. I don't... <laughs> I don't do physical damage, but it feels like an excessive amount of armor to give them. Uh, yeah, I like divination cards. Give me divination cards. Ooh, eternal bonds. With, for a replica cortex. That's got to be a valuable card. Now, if I can just get something to duplicate divination cards, I'll be going good. I feel like I really do need some sort of curse on hit with this character. That would deal with the issues like with what we were having with the Cortex earlier, where the totems were hitting things, but my skitterbots weren't getting close enough because I was, I was having to play so cagely. Oh, landing, good. Each heads are always good. Which immediately reminds me of Beachhead 2000, which is a game that... Most people will either not know of or not remember. Beachhead 2000 is from a very long time ago. I mean, okay, the 2000 is to indicate the year, so... <laughs> it's like a really early Mac video game. And as you know, Mac has a lot of video games on it, I say with utmost sarcasm. The utmost. Okay, this is looks like a bit of a mess over here, but... Oh yeah, there's a lot of beasts over there. Give me... You know what? Oh no. Okay, there's a lot of things happening now. <laughs> uh, okay, I need this. Generation and resistance. Okay. Wait, you actually played Beachhead 2000? I haven't thought of Beachhead in such a long time either. Oh my gosh, that's funny. My uh, uncle installed it on our home computer, and... My mother was very unhappy with him because it's so violent. Oh my god! Like, like just think back to like how uh, how <laughs> unrealistic the graphics were back then, and like calling that violent feels so silly. Not that violence in video games, uh has a negative response a negative effect on people's violence in real life but I mean I don't need to explain that to gamers Oh, there's a big mess of things over here. Oh, it's a red beast. That's what's going on. I was wondering what was happening. Okay, this is going to make it a little bit dangerous, but I just added some more divination cards. Chance to give a div card that rewards unique maps, unique armor, corrupted unique items, and unique weapons. <laughs> This is getting a bit dicey, so I have to be kind of careful, but I should be okay. Man, now I want to play Beachhead again, because, like, it's... 
I imagine it'll be awful by comparison to my memory. Like, like it'll never match up to the nostalgia, but, like, I kind of want to play it just for the sake of remembering what it was like. It's going to be, like, it's going to be so archaic by comparison to, like, anything that we've seen even in the last 15 years. Because it, if I remember correctly, it wasn't very advanced for its time either. Well, actually, no, that's not true. It was advanced for its time for a Mac game. I would love to do a Beachhead stream at some point, but, like, I can't imagine... If I were to... The only way that I could do something like that is... Okay, I guess there's technically two methods. One would be to emulate a Mac OS on a virtual computer, which sounds awful. The other option is to find, like, not an emulator for the OS so much as, like, um... Okay, no, it would be an emulator for the OS, but not a virtual machine, theoretically. I don't I don't know how the hell that would even be managed, unless there's, like, an old PC version I can run in, like, compatibility mode or some shit. Oh, it was on PC, okay. Well, that is good, because that 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 makes it a lot more hopeful for being able to actually run it. Can only imagine how janky it would be by today's standards. Yeah, it probably would be very janky. <laughs> It'd be very funny though. Hmm. Something feels wrong about this this ultimatum. I'm taking more damage than I should be. I'm okay. You know what? I have a bad feeling, so I'm gonna just take it take my reward and run. I already have, like, a very large amount of very dangerous affixes on it right now. Like, do I have any... Okay, so I don't have an increased damage shit on the map, but I have additional projectiles and can have up to 400% fire, extra fire damage, as well as exposure to all elements <laughs> on me. So let's not do that. Let's not do that and say we didn't. But yes, Beachhead, definitely, I totally would do that. That sounds really funny, just for the sake of nostalgia. I'm sure someone else had, like, had... <laughs> I'm sure other people also had that as, like, part of their childhood, and maybe one of them has made some sort of compatibility thing to make it run on a modern system. Now, who is this? The Diet. Okay, let's be kind of careful with him. No. Stay away. Okay. In the worst case scenario, I could run a virtual machine 
with Windows XP loaded on it. That should be more than fine. That would actually be really easy to do. Maybe overkill, though. Like, I'll try to do it the easy way first. I'm not going to just jump into the absolute hardest possible way to do it first. Just in case I can do it the easy way. Why does Steam have it? If Steam has it, I will be very surprised. I, like, I'll check. I will totally check. Uh, you know what? I don't need a random laboratory map. Eight? No. Hold on. Solution. There we go. Essence. There's no value to me picking this up, but I like picking it up. Uh, let's see. What can I do? No. Well, first of all, I need to press the right button. That helps a lot in doing this. Okay, so I'm going to swap screens. Ooh. Figuring that out. Transition. Okay, cool. So Steam. We said 2000. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Mostly negative reviews! <laughs> what? Is it because it is... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hold on! I need to read this description! As a lone gunner, you're the last line of defense against an overwhelming onslaught of enemies. Keep a steady aim and blast away at land, sea, and air forces as they rush you from every conceivable direction. Engage yourself in lim limitless levels of white-knuckle action, stunning photorealistic graphics. Stunning photorealistic graphics. <laughs> Look at these photorealistic graphics. <laughs> so... So photorealistic. It looks... <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I love that that's in the description. Okay, why is this rated so negatively? I really... Oh my gosh, there's a whole... There's a whole bunch of them. I could buy the Beachhead Bundle for $6.58 American. Okay. Does not work at all. Does not work. Does not work. <laughs> you, you do realize that this is not an easy game to run. You're trying to run something from the 2000s era. Yeah, this is not going to be easy to run. Hmm... Oh, give it a try in a Windows XP virtual machine. Okay, it works flawlessly. Yes, okay, I was right. It will work. 
Okay, that's that's very that's very simple for me to do. I'm very familiar with virtual machines. Since my habits already involve running virtual machines for various things, I have a virtual machine for all games like this, so I can recommend, recommend under these circumstances until the developer decides to do more compatibility and functionality. <laughs> They're not going to do more! No, nothing's happening. This was released June 15th, 2000. Like... <laughs> This is a 24-year-old... No. 23-and-a-half-year-old game. It's not getting updated. There's no compatibility fixes coming. This game is what it is and forever will be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why anyone would think there'd be updates coming down the pipeline for Beachhead 2000. They must not have paid attention to like what the actual release date is, because that's... Uh I mean realistically, let's well, let's let's be completely re realistic about this. This is put on the Steam store so that they can take advantage of nostalgia and earn a quick buck on it since they still own the copyright to it. That is the reason why this is here. But that doesn't mean that I can't take their shitty piece of abandonware and actually make it work. You know what's satisfying, though? It's a fully complete game. You buy it, you get everything. You know what? Yeah. For three bucks, or that's probably like 450 Canadian. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, like, it's a good game. It's always been a good game. It's simple, but, like, you don't buy a 24-year-old game looking for technical complexity. Or if you do, there's something wrong with you. Let's see at the improved graphics with Beachhead 2002. Oh my gosh, photorealistic! Did they change anything? I think they changed the people assets. It looks like about the same thing. Otherwise, I feel like I'm there. <laughs> Oh, this one, they've they've gone up. It's now mixed reviews, because this is only a 21-and-a-half-year-old game. Okay. Features include fast and furious, hardcore, non-stop arcade action, massive airborne attacks, day and night fighting. Each tank and vehicle is unique because of the ultra-realistic graphics! <laughs> oh. Realistic defender weapons. Realistic enemy weapons. That Actually, some of that stuff might actually be kind of realistic, potentially, because, I mean, I imagine... I imagine M60s haven't changed a huge amount. Well, I mean, actually, I don't know anything about weapons, so who knows. Realistic battle sounds and special effects. Dimensional sound effects for distance and battlefield depth. Yeah, that's just, that's just normal in all games now. Other more realistic features include... Oh, that's sarcastic, okay. Built-in cheat codes, diverse and specific ammo drops, you know, personnel carriers, heat-seeking missiles, full cause and effect with accumulated damage registration for true-to-life action. So, enemies have health bars? I have health bar? Yeah. Zelda did that in the 90s. Uh, you're you're not special. Oh my gosh, I can run this on a Windows 98 computer with 64 megabytes of RAM. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I bought it for my dad. 
Oh my gosh, I played this! My dad too! Oh, that's so wholesome! Oh, oh yeah, I'm not logged in. Do not buy this! <laughs> the entire Beachhead collection is broken and will not run correctly on modern hardware. Yeah, of course it will not run correctly on modern hardware. This game was not built for modern hardware. That's the problem. <laughs> you can't compare Beachhead to Zelda. One was a gaming marvel ahead of its time, and the other was Zelda. <laughs> Uh Could anyone be more turned on? You know what? My friend, I agree with you, Replicant. God, I need to I need to buy this game cuz holy fuck, that sounds amazing. Okay. Anyways, we're a PoE stream, I think. We might be a Beachhead stream at some point, <laughs> but we're a Path of Exile stream currently. Oh my god, my inventory's full. Very, very full. A lot of div cards from that. Holy shit. I guess I did have a ton of bonus chance to get div cards. Actually. Wait, no. Oh, okay, good. Cool. Merps. I have 47% now. Doing good. Sure, I'll pick Anarchy. Why not? Oh, I keep <laughs> I keep picking a Master because I'm just used to that and forgetting that I have an Einhar already. I I don't understand why the why the Master missions can't overlap. Like, why can't you have Einhar and Dune in the same map? Like, they don't. I don't know why they would conflict. Every other mechanic already overlaps with each other. How is that going to be any different than having a Breach, Delirium, Ultimatum, uh, Ritual, Shrine, Ambush overlap already? <laughs> I'm sure I forgot a bunch of shit there, too. Okay, oh, no, there's too much chaos damage there. Okay. Okay, yeah, I I don't want to make any commitments, just because I don't know how the, what the future holds, but I do desire to have a stream that is dedicated to playing Beachhead. That sounds amazing, so... We'll see, we'll see how realistic that is, but... I do. I am. I am interested if it is something that is reasonably accomplishable in a amount of time that I have access to. Man, that would be really fun to do as like my YouTube partner slash Twitch partner stream. Just like. Finally got partner, so we can do have a cool stream kind of thing. That that does sound really fun. Not that I'm close to partnering either, because I'm at 61 subscribers of 500 on YouTube, and I'm at 26 of 50 followers on Twitch, which I guess is closer, but my Twitch doesn't really gain much in the way of subscribers very often. Takes a long time to grow on Twitch. It feels like probably because there's like no discoverability, unlike YouTube, where there is like actually some discoverability.
There is a, an amount of discoverability that is not zero. Ah, no. Stop facing me. Stupid goat. Ooh. Wait. You look a whole lot like Ferule. You aren't, you wouldn't happen to be Ferule, would you? Wait. Oh, wait, new beast? A new beast? I've been playing this game for so long. I sh there shouldn't be a single beast I haven't encountered like 2,000 hours ago. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, I've never found a ferule, a ferric, a ferric tiger alpha before. I've only activated them by like buying them before. Okay, okay. So that's the thing is I've never found one naturally. Okay, but that that is a ferule fight for us. And Ferule is the coolest of the four beastary bosses to fight. With, like... He fucking sends you to the Shadow Realm. It's awesome. Hmm. That will take Glassblower's bobbles. Oh, wait, I should go this way. Grip the last little bit. No, Trial Master, I'm busy right now. Ooh, Chaos Orbs, great. Priest AoE. That sounds scary, but I'll be okay, I think. Temporarily revives, okay, I have to be aware of that. Oh, it doesn't temporarily revive because Einhar... <laughs> Einhar stole it. <laughs> Good. Whoa. Perfect Eldritch Implicit Modifier. A perfect one? Ooh. So I assume that would be one of, like, the, like, 70 div. No, let's try that again. Like the 70 chaos or 100 chaos embers on something. Or however expensive those are. Nope, leave me alone. Do I have any embers? No, I don't have any embers on me. How do I don't have any embers on me. I'm in an Xarch map. I'll check. Nope. Okay, that got dicey for a second. I'm impaled. Whatever. One stack of impales, not that bad. Thankfully, Impale isn't really a problem most of the time. Oh, fuck, that's a Diviner Strongbox. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna see if I can get a, another Altar and get a chance to duplicate div uh, Divination cards before I activate that Diviner Strongbox. Okay. No, I won't have another chance. I've already cleared everything. Oh well. It'll whatever divination cards I get will be doubled regardless because of my Atlas passives.
Eh. Cards are cards. None of them are particularly good cards, but they're cards. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, Wildwood. Show me the honey. I would really, really like to fight the stupid King of the Mist finally. The problem is finding him is really hard and you only have one try. You don't get multiple you don't get multiple portals. Ooh, a perfect spider matriarch. I need that for my spider build. Perfect meat sack. Dark marionette. Oh wow. Perfect Sanguimancer, Demon, and a perfect Sawblade Horror. Okay, what's going on here? These are all kind of okay value. Wait, that's a Hydra. That's not... Okay, I want, like, everything here. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to grab the Spider Matriarch, because that's really... Those are both really valuable. I need them from either other character. I'm going to try to get as much purple essence as I can, as much wild as I can, and we'll see what comes off that. Just buy as many corpses as I can. Nope. No, that's blue. Wait, this. Okay, I found a primalist. That's cool, but not where I'm trying to go. Come back to that in a second. Okay. That is the extent I can, I can probably go now. So I'll I'll pull the I'll pick up the stuff on the edges now. I was avoiding doing this because I didn't want to use up any more of my light than I needed to on blue when I could be using it on on purple. Okay. Oh, well, that's worth buying. Nope, not that. Okay. I should have enough to buy a couple new corpses now. That still feels weird to say. Come here, strange man I found in the woods who sells me corpses. There's nothing that can go wrong here. Uh, okay, what should I pick up? Uh, I'll pick up a marionette. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I need to actually have room in my inventory for this. And these are 2x3s instead of 3 by 2 or. No, these are three by twos. Okay. Trying to trying to figure that out in my brain. Okay, matriarchs there, uh, and then I can fit one more thing. I'll take the marionette. You know what? Actually, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just sack the. Six link or six socket, not six link. I'm not I'm not sacking a six link. Which one of these is more valuable? The Sanguimancer is more valuable. No, I'm short. Okay, whatever. I'll pick the meat sack then. Send me out. Beam me out, Scotty. I got 50%. Feeling good about our XP gaining.
by the end of the stream, I'm going to want to open some of this stuff, too. But I'll open up div cards, see if we get anything cool. Only the interesting div cards. I'm not going to bother with, like, the... Dane Orbs of Alteration. Okay. I will put Beyond on this. Why not? Nothing bad could possibly happen with that. Oh, wait, no, I have still a Vinehar. Wait, I was going to check the Embers. Oh, going back. I, I don't need all the portals anyways. Ember prices. Yeah, the uh, the big ones, the exceptional embers, are about 90c. So that means that that card that I had that I threw in here for some reason is probably pretty nice. Yeah, it's not that expensive, but I am. Um, I'm still interested in finishing that. I know I've said it repeatedly, but I'm really happy that the stream is running a lot better than before. Like, network-wise, it's not amazing. Apparently tonight is a slow night. But... Otherwise, like... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Frame rate-wise, and encoding-wise, and recording-wise, it's running really well. Okay, that just buffs the map boss, that's fine. I just need to be careful of whatever the fuck his name is. Oak. Yes. I need to be careful to not get oaked. To get Professor Oaked. Come here, Professor. Oh, right, he's twinned. Okay, I forgot about that. I should have actually waited till later to do this in case there was any good, like, boss loot things you could get from the altars. Because there are certainly some good ones that I could get, potentially. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, like this, for example, where I could have added an extra four Chaos Orbs to him. Uh, I'll take Divination cards, get duplicated. That sounds really nice. Wait. No. Don't want. I just end up storing them and never using them. They're not worth selling. M cutters. That's it? Wow. That was a shitty gem cutter strong box. Rude. No. What? Oh, he was he was in the range of my my 
the buff field. That's why he was doing so much damage to me. I have to be a bit farther away. Or I will be in danger. It's especially dangerous to be melee right now, Katash. Nope. Okay, I've dealt with you very recently. I'm very familiar with you, at least. And also, walls are nice. Are you are you just gonna fight Einhar? Yeah, Einhar, can you care bring him over? Tash? Hey. Hey, buddy. Buddy, I'm up yep. <laughs> it's trying to be coy with me, but it's not working. It's a very dangerous creature, so I have to be... I have to play it like this. Like, a single volley of projectiles is enough to kill me. Oops. Ooh, another fusing. That's another 40C. Good money. That is why I kill them every time. Oh, that's weird. I've never... I've never seen Mesa have a penis before. Weird. Now, initially, I was wondering if I should remove the ability for my totems to wither, because I can wither. And then I realized that would be stupid, because it's very hard to stop and wither things sometimes. Might as well let me be able to add extra damage where I can. Okay, always check your gardens. Blue, 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 blue. Alpha. Nope. No legendary seeds. Or, I guess I should say unique seeds. I feel like the only unique seed I ever see is Ursi, the Mother of Thorns. I don't know. I swear there's at least two more. I mean, there would have to be two more because there would want they would want to have one for Wild, Vivid, and Primal. And Ursi... I feel like Ursi is wild. I'm not sure. Ooh, Polished Leech and Scarab. Oh, it's still in the red beast. Nice. Okay, this thing withering the shit out of it. That'll work perfectly. Oh, there's a stack of all the wither. I wish I could see on the monster what my wither stacks are. You can see that for, like, most other things... Most other types of ailments and effects and whatever. Why not this? <laughs> Probably an afterthought because of how weird and rare... Well, let's cover this shrine. How weird and rare the uh, wither effects are. So they are becoming more common. Holy shit, that is a lot of white items. I'm going to need to make multiple trips for that one. My inventory is basically full, so I can't... No, 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 no. No. Stop that. My inventory is basically full, so I can't pick up much else right now. I'll have to come back for it. Uh, 
another six socket. Let's figure out all the stuff I need to pick up first before I go back. Rather bring back as much as possible all in one trip. Okay. Time to get a shit ton of jeweler's orbs. Thank gosh for tab affinities. That would, this would be so much slower if I had to swap tabs and empty into individual tabs. I remember how bad that was. I was always I would like I'd drop a few things into the tab and then I'd realize I forgot to put something in the previous tab, so I go back to the previous tab, and then I realize I forgot to put something in the tab before that and go back. <laughs> Just create one big mess after another. Okay. I need one of these white, uh, these pure white six sockets for my other character for the Spider Queen. I wanted to have a offhand weapon that, not offhand, a uh, weapon swap that's pure white for leveling gems. Just to make life easier. Okay, there was an ultimatum to check out. A bit more importantly, there's also a Wildwood. I'll check the ultimatum first, because the Wildwood will make the ultimatum harder. Okay, it should be right... Wait. What? No, it should have been back... Did I do the ultimatum already? It should have been back here. I'm so confused. You know what? I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, blue. I will eat all the blue. No! No. That almost went very badly. No! What the hell is over there? Oh, 50% shock effect. Okay, that's not helping me. Anything else? Anyone else want to cause trouble? Are we good? Oh, there's wolves. Blue staff. Blue staff. Purple staff. Ooh, there is a warlock here. That's nice to see. I'm going to walk away from them a little bit. Soak up as much viv... Or, not vivid, as much wild as I can. Okay. Now I will buy what I can. Okay. 
Okay. Why are there frogs? Fuck off. Oh, the naval officer. That's valuable, isn't it? Yes, that is 75C. Mine. Oh, fuck. There's a there's a, a perfect an alchemist and a perfect warlord, both of which are really good. Oh my god, the warlord is worth more than the fucking naval officer. How oh, is this worth a divine? Okay, I regret buying what I bought, but... Okay, how much do I need? I'm going to scour everything I can, because there's basically a divine sitting right here. Okay, 691. I need 691. Oh, wait, no. Don't send it to some random person. Okay. Every bit of wild essence I can get from just the edge of the forest... And around here, I will clean up everything I can. See if I can get to the 691 I need. Probably left some behind, too, so... Or, I hope I left some behind. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, nope, there's some wild right there. That helped. Still need, like, another 200, so... Only helped a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all just blue and yellow. If I can draw some monsters out of the woods, that'd be good, because they I can kill them for extra... Ooh! Some more wild. Oh, like six more wild. That's nothing. I was like, there's nothing, there's no way that there is a corpse that is worth more than 75C, so I'm just going to buy this without looking at any of the other corpses. I was young and naive. I was three minutes younger and three minutes less wise. Oh, wait, I can just put my totems into the darkness and let them kill shit. I didn't even consider that fact. Yeah, okay, I just got like a hundred more uh, primal there. That's not what I'm looking for, but I just need to find something that gives me wild. Okay, this might not be incredibly interesting gameplay, but I really want to get that divine divine corpse. I'm sorry for being boring. Be worth it. Yeah, it's only if I can find something. I still need another, like, 200. I have to find something that's, like... I have to find basically find a wild rare. This is starting to feel less and less likely. Yep, just about ready to get up, unfortunately. Damn it. Well, you live and you learn. Goodbye, expensive corpse. 
I will take an alchemist for 2c instead of the one divine one. <sighs> Darn it, I didn't realize that there were corpses that were that valuable. Fuck. But whatever, I still got the naval officer who is obscenely good, apparently. Based on the fact that it's worth ADC. Man, now I just want to have a army of naval officer specters for their cannon barrage and tidal wave. I, I don't know what that means, but I like it. Man, that is a lot of six sockets. Okay, we should be finishing up the stream about now. Let's open the last few things that we can. We don't really have all that many div cards to check out right now, unfortunately. Sad. Right here, I can do a Vault of Itziri. Give me, give me some more. Give me some more div cards or something. Oh, it actually gave me a dip card. <laughs> that is surprising. Ah, well. At least I got some more sacrifices to run with my maps. Well, we've climbed t back up 20% after that awful Cortex. That is pretty damn good. Okay. Item. Surge binders. Almost mineraled surge binders. Great. Div card. Wolf shadow. God damn it. No, that's that's not amazing. Here, let's see if I can at least make these surge binders into something. Linky link. Nope, they've been bricked. Goodbye. Because if I can get, like, uh, attack critical strike chance or spell critical strike chance on something like that, totally worth it. Oh, also, I should I should say this in the VOD. Uh, sorry, I forgot to upload last stream's VOD. Uh, so I'm going to do that today. And then this will go up tomorrow, I guess. But thank you all for watching. For those on YouTube, please like and subscribe to see more cool content. And comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos or streams. I would love to hear what you have to say. I've heard a lot of very good uh, feedback about how to make my build videos better. So I look forward to making a new Hexblast Orbital Strike build video. To match that. And thank you for watching.